but I'm going to purposefully spiral kind of a loose design instead of a really tight one. Okay, and every now and then I check my design. And I see that's going to look pretty nice. So I'm ready to do this side. And again, I'm just going to spiral this in. Don't be afraid to really get a good grip on the wire when you're doing this. Otherwise, the wire can slip in your tool. Okay, and let's check and see how that looks. That's pretty nice. I might want to tighten that in just a little. And I might want to reposition this a little bit more over here. And there it is. Now, the last thing that I like to do is go ahead and hammer my spirals a little bit. You can see on the finished bracelet right here how I've hammered the spiral with my chasing hammer to flatten it a little bit on this edge and on this edge. Okay? Now, obviously, you can't hammer directly onto the wire onto the bead because you'll break your bead. So this is what we're going to do. Bring in your bench block. Take your chain nose pliers and lift up the spiral like this so it's away from the bead. Then place the spiral just on the edge of your bench block. Take your chasing hammer and we're just going to hammer the outer edge of the spiral. I think a little bit more. Now another thing that I could do, this is just an option, so I can turn my hammer over and use the ball peen end, give it a little texture. You can also use your embossing hammer for that. Okay, so let's flip this back down onto the bead. That looks pretty nice. Now we need to do the other spiral. So I'm going to flip this up. It's almost at a 90 degree angle to the bead, not quite. Okay, little texturing. I'm going to flip this down. Okay, and there you have it. That is your finished twining vines technique on a nice flat bead. All you need to do now is to make several of these and connect them together either with a bead connector, as in this bracelet. Here we go. You can connect it like this or you could use, you know, wire link or jump ring of your choice. Add a clasp and you've finished your bracelet. Okay, well I just want to thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. We have made some wonderful copper wire jewelry pieces. We've gone over the tools and materials and I think that I've given you some insight into some of the beautiful jewelry pieces that can be made using copper wire, uh, copper washers and copper tubing. It's a lot of fun. I hope that you try it. Hope to see you in the studio someday. Yeah.